Yo, what's up guys? You got Game here. Today we have my round four match or set spike. <laughs> I don't know. Go on. <laughs> that was that was the wrong term. I, I'm tired, alright? I'm really tired. I recently woke up, got home late last night, was driving a couple hours, but we're here for round four of the official smoke on tournament. <laughs> what's wrong with me? Uh if you missed round one, two, and three, I'll link them down below in the description. This is not like a good intro to get people attracted to my content, but whatever, man. Let the battle speak for themselves, right? At the end of the day, no? Oh, okay. Well, goodbye. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Uh, if you are new to my channel, though, if you stayed for the next five seconds, feel free to subscribe. I upload competitive Pokemon content on Pokemon D. Uh, I upload shit on lives, Wi Fi battles, talking videos, all that stuff. Now, today, we are playing Masabi. Now, I believe there's like 256 people left in this tournament or or less. Maybe it's half of that. I, I'm not entirely sure. Can someone correct me on that? I've just kind of been joining. You are blocking private messages. Well, I had that saved for a while and that sucks. Hey, you can shout for OST when ready. Hopefully they'll be ready in five seconds. Usually when I say, hey, well, you can, it's like, hey, I'm here just to let them know. You know, no knock on the door. But yeah, it's been a fun tournament. I'm using a new team today. Uh, it'll be my first time using the team. <laughs> I should actually look at the team, but I'll, I'll I have the damage calculator to teach me anything I need to know while playing plus I've used the Pokemon now I'm using my favorite Tapu today. I think uh, Tapu Lele with a choice spec specifically is the most broken Tapu ever like period More than like with Z moves more than anything else I think it's the most broken Tapu just because uh, its combination of Moonblast and Psy Shock have absolutely no switch-ins at all but uh, yeah, so if you guys like these tournament runs, make sure you let me know by leaving a like, and I will pause it until hopefully we start, and then I'll be right back. All right, so we've got a game, and uh, my opponent got a very scary team, but let me tell you something, Lele, I fun. Lele looks absolutely insane, and so does Scarf Garchomp, so I'm a big fan of Scarf Gar uh, Garchomp in this game. Um, I'm gonna ignore, okay, we already have to ignore spectators on. Uh, Mew can be a little annoying for sure. Toxapex looks crazy. Toxapex looks absolutely insane, bro. It just clicks knockoff, and uh, it, it shouldn't be able to be blocked by their Mew if they are blocked Mew, just because I do have the Shed Shell. Um, not sure what else. I mean, their Mew could be literally anything, right? It could be that stored power set. Maybe it is stored power. This will be a little bit hard of a game. That's for sure. Uh, I like Pex up initially. I can just click knockoff immediately on something. Um... Lele's Moonblast is going to be very important here. Hmm. That zone can be annoying too. I got to be very careful because Mew can just straight up destroy me. Especially because I don't have a dark type. I'm trying to think, what's the best way to stop that Mew from destroying me? I can try and stall it out with store powers with uh, Corviknight, but I mean, I'm assuming I'm playing a game without Corviknight because they have a Magnezone. You know? <laughs> I'm really much assuming that's the case. I'll start with Pex. I think Pex can knock something immediately and help me out. Unless this is Trick Scarf. This looks like T Spikes was that, right? This is what it looks like. Just straight up T Spikes was that. And I forgot uh, Zone is body pressing this, so I gotta be careful. My chance he isn't even a counter. Hmm. I know that my Scarf Garchomp will catch them off guard, and it it does KO Weavile on one hit. 110 to 130, not too bad. Pex is just the best play. They end up leading Lando. Even if they're Banderous, they shouldn't be able to knock me out on one hit. So I'm just gonna go right for knockoff. Well, let me let me let me remember where I am. Let me let me remember this is a tournament game and not. Nine through to one ten. Shoot, I'll take it. Uh, especially if they're like that toxic U-turn variant. It looks like it should be rocks. I want to say. It looks like it should be rocks, but yeah, we're gonna knock off here. Uh, if I get rid of zones leftovers, that'd be great. Corviknight, only role is to stop the Mew, honestly. Mew is a problem. Mew definitely a problem if it's that store power set. I'm not 100% sure what it wants to do here. So they end up going to Bex, which is fine. I get rid of its Rocky Helmet. Um, Corviknight to pressure it a little bit. Do I need my Shed Shell in this game? Only if their Mew is blocked, I would like my Shed Shell. So, 
We'll go Corviknight on this guy. Let's see if they have knockoff himself. If they're going to spam Scald here. I do have Heal Bell. They do go for knockoff, so that's not too big of a deal. Um, especially because I can just U-turn. Now, that is going to let me lose my Choice Scarf, though, so I have to be very careful around the Weavile. I have to be really careful around Weavile. I just don't want my zone, my Lele, to lose its, its item, so... Knock off... I don't think my I don't think my item on this mod matters. I'm a nasty plot immediately. This just made their knockoff weaker. Like I think nasty plot immediately and into landing hurricane will do enough. Uh, maybe if they're if they're knockoff scald recover haze, I'm in a strong spot too. This mod is just very very strong versus them. So if it lands its hurricanes, it's pretty strong. They go zone. I love Scarf Thunderbolt because I love Specs Draco. So from Dragapult, so I assume I do. But I'll, I'll run the calc if anything. Maybe they knock off again. They do go for Scalp. They don't get the burn. Let's see if I land. Usually in this situation, when they don't get the burn, I feel like I have to trade a, a miss. <laughs> Ooh, I actually managed to land, and I get the confusion on them, which is pretty cool. So I managed to land there, which is awesome. Uh. That did 58%. Let's see if we could find out anything about that. Plus two, 62. So they definitely have some spadef on them. Are they max? It wouldn't be max, right? Oh, that would be around there. Huh. My hurricane again. As they go hard, Weavile, oh my God. Alright, so I get a beautiful hit off on Weavile, and I managed to, uh, I, I do so much, oh my god, I did so much to Weavile there. We're gonna go Toxabex. If they knock off here, I won't die. If they knock off here, I won't die. Knock off is like one of their best plays, but they could also double out into Magna Zone. But if they knock off, I won't die, and I'll eat it. Yeah, that's fine. It's better to go Pex, because Pex can come in repeatedly on their Pex, and I can try and overwhelm them as well. Yeah, Pex is just the best. <laughs> I want my Shut Shell from Mew, but... I can't beat every variation of Mew, you know? I can't beat every variation of Mew. So, we're gonna knock off here. Getting rid of Ro Rocky Helmet or Leftovers or whatever it is. Ends up being Leftovers, not too big of a deal. Maybe they U-turn now. I'm gonna make the Garchomp play on what I'm hoping to be U-turn. Because, thinking about it, if I get up rocks as well, I pressure the hell out of their Weavile. If they Earthquake, that's fine. If they, if they set up Stealth Art, that's fine. But if I get up rocks, their Weavile has, like, two switch-ins total. And my Toxapex still walls it. Yeah. Again, the biggest threat is Mew. But, man, are they close to being Moonblast swept. Like, Landers, but if Landers gets two KO'd by that. They go for Earthquake there. I'm gonna set up Stealth Rock here. Stealth Rock, Stealth Rock. Outrage. I guess this was semi risky on my part in that situation, right? We should be able to go Chansey though. We wanna force out Magnus, we wanna force out. Like, as good as Garchomp was, because I got that damage on Weavile, my whole game plan changes. Because Toxifex beats it now. If they ever defog, I'm good too. That guy did 46% to me. I should, I should calc. I know, I know Garchomp. That's like, it's like defensive earthquake, right? Yep, that's defensive earthquake. All right, we'll go Chansey here. Just softballed up. Have no idea what the Mew set is. We're gonna play. <laughs> we're gonna pray it's not a block set. That's for sure. Ooh, Stealth Rock, which means Earthquake is gonna do a ton now. Which means they probably cannot touch my Torn. If they're knockoff, you most definitely have U-Turn with Magnezone, right? You definitely cannot touch my Torn, so I'm gonna go Torn. Get an Asplot in their face. If they have Stone Edge, they got me. Yeah, it's toxic. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is a, a giant threat. So, pr provided I land, I'm in a good spot. Gonna heat wave so I don't miss. 
Because I just need Chip on Landorus to put it in range of Lele. Actually, that's just Hurricane, whatever. I was thinking about heat waving into Magnezone, but it's fine. Provided I land a Hurricane. Basically, if Torn lands his Hurricane, it's broken in this game. Like, period. It is broken in this game. Yeah, so I'm glad I clicked Hurricane. Let's see if I land it. I do miss, which is very unfortunate. I can obviously knock them out if I if I land it the next one, so I'm gonna go for it. Uh, Toxapex being gone meant I clicked Moonblast, so great. Thankfully, Toxapex is gone, so I can click Moonblast, which is awesome. This ideally forces in Weavile, perfect, which is heavy duty boots. Okay, now that we know that they're heavy duty boots. I should safely be able to bring out my... I gotta be so careful about that zone. I should safely be able to bring out Pex. I don't think you ever SD there. Yeah, they knocked off. I knocked them off as well. Just a safe play. Getting rid of their item. They shouldn't be able to kill me even if they SD. Getting rid of Zone's item is great. Getting rid of Feeny's potential choice scarf, it looks like, is great. Losing my Shadow sucks, though. I'm still deathly worried about Mew. I'm insanely worried about Mew. But yeah, getting rid of Weavile's uh, item would be nice, too. Oh, and getting rid of a Zone's item is always great as well. So we get rid of Zone's item there. It was Chopper Berry, which means it was is the body press set most likely. Is the body press set? I just which means I need a little bit of chip on it with Torn. So I think I can afford to sack Garchomp here if they Iron Defense. That's fine. Iron Defense body press. Tornadus, Magnezone, Iron Defense, let's just go. Focus Blast is 72 to 85%. Knockoff did 13% from Toxapex. So that's within range of that. Heat Wave does enough damage so I can knock it out with Moonblast though, which is what I want. Or I can go Lele. How much does Top of Lele do? Jesus, you are such a strong mom. But Moonblast is 49 to 58%. Body Press should not be able to kill my Chansey in one, even without Neviolite. Whereas Seismic Toss will do a good chunk and put them in range of Psychic. So I think Chansey's the play. And I just click Seismic Toss. Definitely not playing this team as comfortably as I would have liked to. That's for sure. I really think that's Scarfini. I have to be super careful because, like, like I said, like Corviknight can wall. I think Mew, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. I just want damage on the Magnezone. That way, I can knock it out with Torn. That shouldn't kill me, like I said, yep. Get some beautiful damage off of them. They're at 45%, exactly what I need for Top of Lele, right? Yes, yeah, so I can afford to go down here. Can they knock out Chansey by going for anything without body press? No, Thunderbolt can knock me out, so I'm not gonna go for it. I do not want them Thunderbolting. Actually, I might as well softball just in case they actually switch expecting me to because they don't want me going out into Lele. But yeah, them being in range of Moonblast is good. I still don't know the Muse set at all. So I bring out Lele here. Lele kills. We already did the calc before. 49 at 58%. So Lele gets a kill right now on Moonblast. Maybe they go Landorus, which I wouldn't mind, I guess, coming in personally. They could also go top of Fini. Yeah, they go Landers. That's cool. I don't have to worry about Earthquake now. As Lander just dies. I was fully physically defensive. Jesus. Again, Mew is the biggest threat. And also, the fact that Magnezone now is at 45 means that it dies the Heat Wave from my Tornadus. So, 
5768, yeah. It dies the heat wave, so I don't have to worry as much about that. Weavile comes out. I wonder if they double here. They cannot KO me here, but I can lose to Mew. They won't be able to KO me. Except if they go for Triple Axel. They went for Crash. I'm going to double the Torn. But if they SD, I can lose too. There's so many things that could happen here that could lose me the game. But as long as I can bring out Lele, I think I'm good. So I'm actually going to go for Knock Off again. Yeah, they do go for SD, which is fine. I get rid of their boots, which is what I wanted. No item. Plus two does 35 to 41. So I recovered it off first. Now I go for Haze. <laughs> Good Magna Zone play. Very good Magna Zone play. Uh, I think Toxapex might be able to beat their Mew, depending. If they Flash Cannon into me, I can lose. So I'd rather sack Tornadoes. Because this lets me bring out Lele. And click Moonblast. Please sack Mew. <laughs> Weaver only has one switch in left, which is great. And zone being gone means these two survive. Alright, zone being gone means those two survive, which is great. I have no idea what the Mew set is. I obviously bring out Toxic Bugs here. Actually, Corviknight's my play. Is it? Let me recover up once. Then we haze. I'm trying to think, like, what's the best play here? Because I'm a little bit worried about the Mew. I'm a little bit worried about the Mew. No, I just go Corviknight. Corviknight's not going to die. I don't want Mew coming in. They do SD. I U-turn with Corviknight. I don't want Mew coming in on Toxabex because I don't know what the Mew set is. This won't kill me. Whatever they go for, it won't kill me. Breakthrough. Thanks. And I always bring out Lele because I, I think Lele is too strong for Mew, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm honestly not entirely sure. I think Toxbex is always my play here. I feel like this is Scarf. Okay, we knock off. Time to reveal my poison jab, dude. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I do have this move. Do have the jab. I'm gonna knock. Again, first. Oh, please don't show weakness posse. Please don't show weakness posse. Please don't show weakness posse. Cause seed berry. No idea what that means. I'm going hard, Lele. <laughs> no idea what the hell that means. I'm going hard, Lele. Let's pray. I lost! No! I guess Kasib meant they were offensive nasty plot with shout for, for Dragapult. Good game. Alright, so I lost the first game. You can challenge game two when ready. So all I had to do there was just stay in, I think. And click Haze repeatedly. 
I just, why are you saying okay go when I say you could challenge? All right, so I have to be really careful now. My chomper, I didn't play the best of my ability, that's for sure. Breakers plus backbone. Okay. I got I got another one that is a little bit... A little bit stronger overall. A little bit stronger overall. I think I'll use this one. So the thing is, if I use the... Sure. If I use the Needle King team, I was pretty weak to Mew. Right? Why is Cassie Berries? I actually know. Zone was more scary than anything else. What's it? Okay, I'll challenge him to my Breakers plus Backbone team. And uh, if this doesn't work, then I'm out of OST. So that was my inexperience there as well coming into play because uh, Kasib Berry did not automatically click that it would have been offensive with... Because I've used Kasib Berry Mew uh, with an option to deal with... Um, what's it called? With the ability to deal with... Uh, Dragapult. You have the Kasib Berry for Dragapult. So what I should have done was just stayed in and clicked haze, 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 and then gone from there. I like that for a game. If I make it to game three, which I'm gonna try for, I think I'm gonna use my Needle King team. It's just so strong. But it's very weak to that. It's very, 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 I do a poison job, but it's really weak to that top of me, I feel. All right, I challenged them. Did I put it here? I did. Never use this team either. <laughs> How would the Zapdos game have gone? That Weavile would have been a problem every single time it came out. No, I had this guy. Could have Volt switched around. SD Garchomp looked crazy there too. Oh, especially with slow Volt switches into a Rock Blast T-Tar for Tapu Fini. Biggest threat would have been the Magnezone. Like, I, I don't deal with Magnezone very well. Knock off Toxic Earthquake, no U-turn. All right, so I've challenged them. Hopefully, we can get this game going. I'm glad I started earlier because it feels like it's going to be a while. How does this team deal with... What is my team? I should look at it. Hurricane knockoff. Ooh, Toxtricity. No Rocky Helmets. Have fun. I feel like Toxtricity is hard-walled by Hippowdon, but I could be wrong. Boomers is 56 to my million percent. Jesus. <laughs> Relax. Okay, they get smashed by Torn. Like, absolutely smashed by Torn. I should be okay versus Weavile as long as I have um, Umbreon plus these guys. And Torn is just insanely nasty here. Torn is just insanely nasty. Hippo only Vox Volt Switch and it does nothing else in this game. <laughs> yeah, Torn is great. I'm gonna click Knock Off immediately. This is like the best lead possible for me. They can't kill me with anything, especially if I knock them off, so. And obviously, getting rid of like a Feral Thorn early means that I can click a Leaf Blade. Really, really easily in this game with my, uh, with my Kartana. And we just have to be careful, like, the mons that can U-turn into Toxtricity, which is a, a strong breaker versus me, obviously. As long as I keep Hippo, I'm good versus that. Doesn't have an infinite amount of knock uh, attacks anyway. So we know that the, uh, the Rashifu is Scarf now. Just put that just because I'm tired. <laughs> Scarf or Shifu without Future Sight is interesting. I'm not sure what's coming in. Maybe it's Landers. Get rid of its leftovers, which is awesome. Uh, I do have Heal Bell, so I'm willing to weaken this guy because Kartana looks crazy. I do unfortunately miss. I can Defog, which is great, and then I can land the next one. 
Again, we're just trying to weaken this guy because Cartano looks absolutely insane. Beautiful damage. I have heal about at the end of the day, so I don't really care. I just defog once. They end up U turning, that's fair. I don't know if Toxtricity would be Choice Scarf. I think it'd be Specs on this build. But basically, I got the damage I need on Landorus. We know it's set. Its last move is Earthquake. Weavile comes out. I'm gonna make the Umbreon play. I think it deals with Toxtricity a little bit better if they want to go out to that and they knock off. Wish up. Then I heal bell here. Just so my uh, torn isn't toxic. You know their Weavile's banded by doing 21% as well. Uh, this guy I definitely want to knock off if possible. So I'm gonna make the top the Toxapex play. For sure want to knock them off if possible. They always click knock off here. They end up going top Lufini, which is not terrible. <laughs> it was leftovers. Uh, maybe they're the trapping set, so... They shouldn't be able to climb my Moonblast, so I'm just going to go for Defog here. Get rid of those hazards. As they do go for Scald. Knock off Scald. Sure, we want to U-turn and get our Regenerator back. I have a Shed Shell once on Toxabex, so I should be okay to go out to it once at least. Gonna Scald them here. Try and burning them a little bit. I only need the Shed Shell basically once. I only need the shed shell once. They end up going hard landers on a scald. I'm just gonna scald them again. Stealth rock, toxic, U turn. They already knocked me there. Gonna knock just in case they go toxicity. Earthquake can't kill me and knockoff won't kill them because they have no item and they're minus one. I just don't want them getting in Toxtricity for free. That's why knock is feel safe. Or safe-ish, I guess. Again, we have the Landris low, which is great. Once Toxtricity is knocked, I feel a lot better. Torn should be okay to come in. I don't even need Torn in this game. It's just there for defog. But Torn is okay to come in. So let's knock off Nature's Madness. I can U turn unless that's Iron Bars plus Rocky Helmet. I should actually scout for that. They can't be Taunt plus all these moves. <laughs> like. They can't be Taunt plus all these moves. So, like, it's fine. I don't want Cartana getting weakened, but man, if I get in Cartana right now, I can win. I shouldn't risk my Mon on, on that. Lele gets a kill whenever it comes out too. I gotta bring out Lele more. Yeah, whatever, I'm going Cart. Yeah, the Niche and Madness thing, which is fine. I'm clicking Leaf Blade, I don't give a damn. I should sack Lando from this position. It did not. All right, my opponent playing aggro. I'll do it aggro too. You know, you're outplaying me. You're outplaying me now, and you're playing well. That's it. That's it. They're outplaying me.
Melee, Moonblast, Moonblast, Moonblast. Had I not already knocked off Top of Fini's item, I would have clicked knock off there. So the Toxapex defensive backbone is definitely screwing me over a little bit here. They have Body Press, which will click knock off again. And everything. Ferrothorn not having item would be great. Spikes, body press, what, Leech Seed? Gyro Ball or? Probably Power Whip, right? Your team's pretty weak too. Your team's pretty weak to Feeny. This one's annoying, dude. I don't know, I don't know it's set, that's the thing. Look at sand up. You know what? Screw it. They didn't knock me off, which is the important part. I'm gonna click spec psychic. I don't care. Screw it. This mod is very annoying. Give me a mod. If they go feral thorn, I do a lot of damage to it. So that's the important part, right? If they stay in with Feeny, they can die. Potentially. I don't think you could ever. Sack the landers, damn it. I just sack the landers. I know they're waiting for an opportunity to sack something, then bring out Rashifu when you turn. I know that's what they're waiting for. I know. There's another one where I feel like the Needle King Slowbro team would have been great. That's my fall again. For not losing it. Oh my, what? Okay, I mean, I'll take that. I feel like that got a kill whenever you U turn. Yo, I'll take that for sure. Holy crap. Weavok comes out. I go Toxtricity here. Oh, they go Toxtricity here, excuse me. <laughs> Assume they're modest. 74 to 84%, which means I live. And if I can bring out Hippo with no choice specs, they cannot to it KO me. I'm gonna knock off here. Let's get rid of the Oh, and they're a life orb too. Okay, awesome. So we get rid of their life orb. Great. We got rid of their life orb. Which I think I mean I think Umbreon walls that too now, right? Forty to forty-seven percent. Hmm. is just good to keep alive, but I think Hippo. I want to run the calc on my top specs. I don't think Hippo is too wicked. I mean, if Hippo is too wicked, like Hippo's literally here for this mon, you know. Yeah, like Hippo was literally here for this month. If Hippo got 2 KO, then screw Hippo, right? Like, you're not doing your job if you get 2 KO. So, you weren't doing your job if you get 2 KO. So, you're here for this month. Awesome. So, I'm glad I got one turn right. They have to be banded on Weavile, right? Maybe they're not banded. Not with the 39 to 46. They're not banded on Weavile. They're gonna get up spikes here. Weavile's SD. This is probably the more annoying mon for me to fight. This one in particular. I'm gonna Earthquake just in case they don't have Leech Seed. Yeah, that's my. I think that's my play. If they don't have Leech Seed, I Earthquake. Get as much chip on them, that way I can click Moonblast. Because Moonblast would kill Toxtricity at that point. Obviously, it knocks out Weavile. How much did they do with me before? No, they did 21% to my Umbreon. No, no, that has to be banded. 
Yeah, that's Bandit. But I do have the lead seat, unfortunately. Body press spike. I just don't want them doubling the Weavile. I'm gonna get up Stealth Rock just to pressure the Weavile. And sit here for a bit in front of this Pokemon. Power Whip never kills me, so... Actually, they'd Leech Seed, right? I'm going Tornadus. This also works if they go Toxtricity. I'm going Torn. Power Whip will literally never kill me. I defog all these away, I get a kill immediately with Lele. With Focus Blast, so I'm defogging. Focus Blast. I'm not as worried about it missing because they're minus one. I know it's going to kill this Mon as well. I'll calc it, but I know it's going to kill this Mon. I mean, it would kill regardless, but... I'm going for it mainly because if I can hit Ferrothorn, I can win this game. They make a really good Tapu Fini play. I'm going to go hit Pout on here. Because I can't let them double out into Toxtricity. <laughs> I cannot let them double out into Toxtricity. They're so weak to being, like, they're so close to being swept by Sacred Sword. But I cannot let them double out into Toxtricity here. I guess we'll find out right now if they have the, uh... If they have the Taunt. Because they can't... I'm basically weakening them with this, which is great. That freaking Ferrothorn is so annoying for this team. I think I stalled it out, though. But it having spikes is what makes it annoying. But if I can beat Tapu Fini, I feel like I win. Perfect. So rocks for both of us. Actually, a turn of Toxic is better than going for rocks. <laughs> In, in theory, it was better than going for rocks there, uh, because it didn't allow it, it didn't allow them to come in a second time, basically. So now they just U-turn out into Feral Thorn. Yeah. I'm going hard cart. If they body press, great play. Yeah, they have a spike exactly. Knock off is my play. Oh, we got rid of their item. Okay, I can win this game. I can win this game for sure. With them being knocked, I can win this game for sure. I don't think spikes would be the end of me. I feel like Hippowdon plus these guys just take everything. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I feel like Hippowdon plus these guys just take everything. I think Umbreon just wish protects on everything, doesn't it? Oh, especially now that they've went... If they've given me Feeny from this too, yeah, I think Umbreon just wish protects on everything. How does it not? They just gave me Feeny. Like, I feel like I'm gonna really just wish protects. Switch again. Give me another Amon. I mean, I'll take Feeny, obviously. And Lele lives by a Psychic, which is important because Moonblast gets a kill. Also, there being no Misty Terrain, so I can Skull Burn the Toxabex is nice. Best case would be like they go Weave out here. I feel like they should have Body Pressed me. Maybe I'm wrong. I could definitely be wrong. Oh, they gave me Landers, which is great too. That's something I couldn't hit before. Get that out of there. So they're going to go out into their Weave out now. I know they're banded. <laughs> really? I feel like this never kills me. 
I feel like this never ever kills me. I was wrong. I was very wrong. Holy crap, I was wrong. Okay, uh... A little bit threatening here, that's for sure. Bandit Weavos Triple Axel is a threat. Actually, there's no point in protecting. I wish. Damn, I got smashed in this. I really did. I think that what I should have done was just use the Needle King and, and zap those team. I was I was confident with them. Oh, they died. Th them actually dying to rocks is very important. At 13%, them actually dying is very important. Protect here. How much does Leech Seed recover? Mm. Thirty-seven. I'm at forty-three, which means they'll get a lot of recovery back. Okay. I think the play is to get up sand and then try and win with this guy with double. With double foul play. So how much does foul play do? Not that much. Weavile. Not that it matters, but... Yeah. The play is the Earthquake twice. I think. Because if, if I dodge one Leech Seed as well, I can win two. I didn't dodge that Leech Seed, but that's fine. I don't think I need to dodge... I think that's okay. Because I also want to stall out sand at the end of the day, right? Because I don't, I don't want my own mon taking sandstorm damage. It's going to come down to Umbreon versus the world. That's basically what it comes down to. Actually, because it comes down to Umbrella versus Royal Earthquake here, just in case they try and go, <laughs> just in case they try and choke. No, there's too many turns of sand. Like a choke would be them going hard weave out here, I think, because then I just foul play and foul play and win the game. They're thinking about choking, though. That's, is that a choke, though? I don't know. I'll, I'll fly off the choke. Like them going hard, we ball would be insanely choky. Oh, I guess them going toxicity is the exact same thing for me, so I'll take that. So this is nice because I get a turn of uh, like they can miss. First off, they can miss, and I get a turn of sand on them. So the turn of sand is the important part. And they can only get one. Like, potentially only get one. <laughs> I am going to try and stall these all out. Uh, we know that Ferrothorn dies to foul play at the range it's at. Thirty-seven to forty-three percent. So they're out of. I'm out of range. Ooh. It's going to come down to how many they hit every single time. They can actually just go Ferrothorn and get the roll on me, right? Well, if they go Ferrothorn, then it comes down to if they hit one or two triple axles. If they get one or two, then I knock them out with foul play. So the, so them going Ferrothorn would be to get the Iron Barbs damage on me. They do 59%. They win if they get all three. And they got a curl on the first one, so it didn't matter. Good game. Good luck in future rounds. So, I lost. Uh, I think I, I the first game I definitely threw because I didn't realize because Seedberry meant Nasty Plot. Uh, I don't know if I could have won from that position anyway because, um, I mean, hiding the replay won't matter. Uh, I don't know if I, I could have won from that position anyway. Good best of three. It was... Uh, <laughs> we played two, but yeah, uh, good set. 
Um, I don't know if I could have won from that position anyway, just because of the fact that I, uh, what's it called? I would have to have clicked Haze repeatedly and then my Lele might still be in range of its attack, maybe. And then I would have to beat the sub combine Fini. If it's max speed, that could be a problem too. But I do think that if I brought one of these two, maybe I would have been in a better spot. Like this, this banded Weavile team looked insane, especially because I had Poison Jab too. Like it looked insane versus that. So I'm surprised they brought what they brought, but I tried to change it up, tried to play a little bit more of a defensive game, and it ended up costing me in my opinion. Uh, I do hope you guys all enjoyed though. If you did enjoy my tournament run, make sure you leave a like, uh, subscribe as well, and uh, this is not the end of it for tournaments. I promise, this isn't the end of tournaments. I'll definitely be doing them again in the future. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace.